That was very fast. Okay. Um, so just remember, guys, when we're going to uh, do the inverse, basically, again, we swap the variables. And then we just solve for our variable y. So to do this, we're just going to use our inverse operations that you guys used in Algebra 1. So the first thing we always do is undo addition and subtraction, which would give us now x plus 1 equals 3y. Then we undo multiplication by division. Now, typically, we like to, um, we could just leave it as this. So we could have y equals x plus 1 divided by 3. Just go ahead and have a seat. I'll grab that. Um, when we're talking about writing the function, we can just replace the y with the f inverse. You can leave it as x plus 1 over 3. It also might be, you might see it written as x over 3 plus 1 third. Basically, using the distributor property, we distribute the 3 into both of those terms. But those are two different ways we could write the inverse. OK? Capiche? Comprende? Um,